very sharp surveyor here, about 28 feet, Couples Coach at uh, Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, what is this, 5,502 pounds. Um, I've always liked surveyors, they're a very nice brand. Uh, I like things like this, like they have a very big baggage door here. You can see looking inside here, people didn't just throw like wet cargo in here and let it rot and mold and mildew. And look at how nicely and cleanly this is finished off. They've always had a very good fine attention to detail at Surveyor. Uh, one thing I want to mention real quick, and you'll see it better when we get around the other side of the trailer, actually from the back looking forward. Um, this has a really big awning on it. And we noticed that the awning fabric is really starting to fray out. So one thing we are doing is, right, it is scheduled to get that awning fabric replaced. Keep in mind, until that is done, we've got a lower price, you know, to reflect its current condition. Once that fabric is replaced, those dollars will naturally get rolled into the trailer. So if you're seeing this within like the first week of its arrival, there's a good chance you can get a great deal on it with an awning that's still okay. And if it's after that, then uh, just keep in mind the dollars may go up a couple. It's not really showing up on camera because it is the slightest little thing. There's a little bit of a stress crease here where the fiberglass skin did, it got pushed and peeled away a little bit, but it is, it's solid as a rock. There is no water damage in this trailer anywhere. All of the seals and maintenance and everything, was, it was done properly and well kept. Um, this is a fully laminated product. So you saw how I was able just to thump all over the wall of that thing. You can do that on the side walls, the roof, the floor, the slide outs. It's all aluminum framed and laminated to keep the strength up and the weight down. And that's always been Surveyor's claim to fame. They're stronger, lighter. And I can't tell you the last time I had a used Surveyor come in with a problem. They're just, they're built right. They're built right. They stay that way and we don't have problems with them. There are max air vents over all the roof vents. You might see that little guy up there. All three roof vents, whether they're power or not, have those um, covers on there. So you can use them, uh, you know, when you're wanting cross breeze or when you're dry camping or if you just want fresh air. I try not to run the AC in my RV as much as I can just because I go camping to get outside and I want that fresh air. Uh, the roof ladder there, you'll actually see a picture of me if you visit our home website sitting on the roof of this thing because it does have a walkable roof. This is kind of what I was talking about, that awning fabric. It's okay. It's, it's not like, you know, torn up terribly bad or anything like that. My guess is a low-hanging tree branch must have got a hold of it because it's a really odd wear and tear pattern. But like I said, that is scheduled to be replaced. So depending on how quickly you get to our dealership, that may or may not have yet been replaced. And uh, so, you know, just kind of keep that stuff in mind. Let's step inside. I do like that they installed the, uh, the larger uh, grab handles on both entry doors. And did you notice... This awning, very long, does cover both entry doors. I wanted to mention that before I forgot, and I just about did forget. Um, you walk inside, everything is bright and light, and even without lights on, it is uh, a very uh, warm and welcoming interior here. It doesn't feel like you're getting in this big, dark, dank cave or anything like that. You see how there is storage above pretty much everything. There's a halo of storage in this trailer. And notice how those doors are doing a good job of keeping themselves open. You don't have to do it. And again, laminated roof. I walked all over this thing, no problems. It's never had leaks. I do like how they extended the slide over here to incorporate this extra storage area. And that's actually also your entertainment center. Um, and you know, you can see where they didn't let TV shift around in transit and whatnot. This has been very well kept. I told the folks, I went inside and shook their hand. I said, I tell you what, um, when you're done with, uh, your next camper that you just bought from us, I sure hope we're the place you come back to and, uh, you know, that we've earned your business. And they, they were from Alabama. I think they were from a ways away. If not there, well, I know they got their dog from Alabama. Dog was cool. They had the smallest standard bred poodle I've ever seen. Not that that matters about this camper, but the uh, the trailer is just in fantastic condition. Um, what was I, I was going to mention? Something I almost I think I forgot here. Oh, central air, central heat. I do want to point that out real quick. Um, the uh, stainless microwave and stove top here. It's just something, again, to help lighten it, brighten it up in here. The fitted sink covers are also a nice touch because you can use these like a cutting board. And again, they're heavy duty. So if you have like a big bag of groceries or something, you can just set it right on there and it does function like actual countertop space. Um, oh, that's, that's what it was. 
there is a water filter system in here. I purposely left that out even though it's kind of unsightly, but so that you could see it. And it, it is a little cold right now, so it is winterized. This big tall cabinet over here can be a, a combination of different things. It can be a wardrobe. It's a nice hanging rack. It can be a pantry with all this shelf, or it can be anything in between because all of this is adjustable shelving. So if you wanted extra hanging space here, like for a jacket, real quick, you could take maybe this shelf out and leave these down here and still have linen space and, and pantry space and all kinds of different things. Oh, this is another thing. The only interior defect I've been able to locate anywhere, I have to zoom right in on because you'd never see it otherwise. So if you're... I obviously don't hide things from you because I'm showing you things you can't even see in passing. At some point, it did cold crack right here, but if you look even closer, you see that they actually had it all re-glued and, and uh, uh, the uh, new adhesives put down there and stuck back down. So, they again, they reinvested money in the trailer. It didn't stay that way, you know. They didn't let it fail and then just let it rot. They took care of it. And that's what you want to look for in a used RV. Um, you know, it's like a used car. It might have a little nick or bump here and there, but did the people take care of it? That's what matters. Uh, we've got a very easy walk-around bed here. Uh, you see the second entry door uh, can take you right into the bedroom, and from there, whoosh, it's just a hop, skip, and jump over to the little bathroom space. And I do like that extra big mirror when you wake up in the morning. That is nice to have. Um, bigger fan here in the bathroom, too, and remember that does have the roof vent cover, and they did slot this door for ventilation. Notice how they, they plan for that light right there. They slotted the door for ventilation so that you can leave that fan on, you can leave these windows open, and just get this nice constant cooling airflow going right through your bedroom. Look at the window treatments on this. Surveyor is one of these really crafty brands. They're good for doing stuff like this. I'm not entirely convinced that was done from the factory, but it, uh, it does pretty much match the decor. This is like the exact same print that's on the sofa this wood tone right here matches the cabinetry flawlessly but I've never seen that done in a trailer before but I wouldn't put it past surveyor to be the one to do it it's very very sharp looking it really frames those windows in nicely I like it a lot I wish I like we see that in horse trailers but never in um, RVs um, the uh, headboard here does have a little shelf just big enough to keep your phone up there or something like that in charging and you've got the uh, charging ports right there. A little bit of space down by the side if you need a CPAP machine or anything of that nature. And um, this has a very nice fifth wheel style bathroom here uh, uh, with a, uh, a taller shower as opposed to a tub and a big honking sink. You can actually, you know, wash your hands in this. You can see, you can get your hands in here and have room to move them around and get cleaned up and whatnot. So that's this one in a nutshell. Um, pretty darn nice. This actually, one of our techs came out and looked at it and goes, wow, what are we asking for this? Because this is in good shape. So even the guys who turn wrenches on campers for a living went, this one's nice. Um, 800-256-5196. Hey, let RV of Coldwater, Michigan take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody. Have fun.